This is Ernaz, and once again, we have another Red Dead Redemption 2 video here, and there is going to be spoilers in this video, so be warned for that. This was posted on IGN. They got a first look, and there was quite a few things I wanted to talk about and things that they note, it noted in there and thought I would share with you guys, so let's just get started. So they said if you point your gun at someone, they will either drop to their knees and beg for forgiveness or they'll just pull out a gun and shoot you. Or they might even aim a gun at you and tell you to, hey, quit it. You know, stuff like that. So the people around in the world will actually react to things you do. They said there is a camp that you start in, which uh, each member of the gang has a job to do. Such as, like, clean clothes, cut wood for the fire, water collecting from the river, and more. Uh, they said if you run low in food and resources, then the spirits of the camp will demeanor. Uh, you can hunt or just buy supplies for the camp, though. Uh, this is, however, not all on you, as Rockstars didn't want it to be, like, annoying. Uh, a guy named Pearson is the camp cook, and when uh, Arthur walked past, he's told the meat supply is running low. And they mentioned that this isn't a cutscene. You just must listen to your surroundings and do accordingly to make your group happy. You could choose to help them or just not, but they will get uh, upset. Choices is also very prominent in this game. So, you know, uh, you have complete control of how Arthur reacts to the world. If you come across someone, whether nice or mean, you'll get an interaction system such as uh, greet or antagonize, you know, sort of like Fallout. Uh, these choices may change too, depending on what you've done in the past. Uh, another instance that was mentioned was that if you travel with your gun holstered, you may get a warmer welcome. Carrying it, however, will make some bandits and lawmen retaliate aggressively. That means they could pull out their guns and make you put it away, or they can even just start shooting. They mention that the world is clever as well. They rode by a farm too close and the farmer told him to scram. But when going to a fisherman's tent, he was fixated on catching that fish that he didn't even notice Arthur going through his supplies, and he even took his meat that was hanging. The fisherman's dog, however, did notice and he started to bark to let his owner know. And then when he, the fisherman goes back and he finds his stuff missing, he tells him to stop. IGN then chose to tell him to turn around and run, but since he didn't, they pushed him down, which made him run off. Uh, they mentioned these choices matter. If they killed the fisherman, then there would be a bigger bounty on him for murder. But since he let him run off, the fisherman would then go to the sheriff and there will be a bounty for robbery. So you kind of like pick and choose. If they ever find the body and they go after uh, you for that, then your bounty is going to be much, much higher and you're going to be really wanted. But if you just have a small time robbery, you know, you're definitely going to get that because the fisherman will go tell the cops. But it's going to be much smaller. So it actually matters. They talk about seeing wildlife and doing a bit of hunting. They see deer, bear, and more. Uh, they mention that the meat will decay over time so that you must get it back to the camp or sell it. Uh, you can even use your horse to put the carcass on and then ride it in, so that's pretty cool. Uh, they even say if you kill rabbits, you can either choose to skin them right there or scoop them up and tie them to your horse. Uh, I don't know if scooping them up and tying them to your horse is any benefit other than, you know, uh, or you just skin them. Maybe if you scoop them up and tie them to your horse, maybe you could sell those for more. I'm not sure. Then there is hunting with a bow, uh, which they talk about quite a lot in this because they said it was their favorite part. Uh, but they said the hunting with a bow is much cleaner uh, ways to hunt, you know? So it makes the kill much more valuable. You can whistle to draw the animal's attention, and they mention firing an arrow, but just getting it in the leg, the deer that is. The deer cries out in pain and attempts to run, but the wound is deep. Uh, they said there's a blood trail for a few feet, but then the deer is laying on the ground. But it's still alive, so Arthur draws his knife and finishes the deer. They said that Rockstar wants you to build a companionship as well with your horse this time around, instead of just being like a, a transportation unit. As time goes on, you'll have to feed it, you'll have to calm it when it's agitated, and groom it, and so on. Uh, your horse uh, also now carries your larger weapons and supplies, so you must know where your horse is. Apparently, you can't call it from a whistle if it's too far away, so you need to know where your horse is at all times. 
you can st- you can whistle if it's close though. Uh, and they also did mention that different breeds of horses react differently to things like terrain, water, stressful situations, and so on. So you're really going to beha- like choose different horses depending on your play style. When Arthur gets back to the camp, everyone seems to be done with their duties. Some are playing chess while others are listening to opera on the gramophone, and some are even heading to bed for the night. Um, he mentions that near a wagon, you see Bill Williams, C, Lenny, and Karen talking about the bank they want to hit in nearby town called Valentine. They want Arthur to come along to be the muscle. He agrees, and the next morning they ride to town. During the ride, Bill talks about the plan in a little more detail. Karen will go in first to cause a distraction, and then the other three will make them move into the bank. Arthur, though, isn't so convinced about the plan, however, and uh, they go on to. Uh, Describe, you know, Valentine is a small town and uh, it has a railroad that runs along the edge and there is a church in the middle, which I'm thinking that might be the town that we saw in the trailer, perhaps. So Karen goes in for the distraction, uh, but first asks Arthur, should she go in as like the little lost girl or the drunken harlot? You get to choose this, but the demo shows him picking the latter. So she unbuttons her blouse a little bit and then staggers into the bank. The three pull up their neckerchiefs and walk in, weapons drawn. When you get in, you see some people on the ground held at gunpoint already. Arthur grabs the nearest banker and forces him to open the door, but pistol whips him when he tried to resist. Uh, Arthur then uh, tells him to open the thing, which the bank teller tells him only the manager can do it. And once again, they, he pistol whips him once again, and finally the guy opens the vault. Arthur did finds five safes. But Kenny and Karen shout from the front saying the time is almost out. So this is where another choice comes in. You can either attempt to crack the safes or blow them open. In this demo, they decide to blow them open because who wouldn't? And they haul as much loot out as they can. When going outside, the sheriff and his deputies are there, but Karen tries to tell the sheriff she is lost, doing that little lost girl routine uh, that she talked about earlier. Then out comes Arthur who kicks in the... uh, the doors, and uses Dead Eye. They did mention that Dead Eye looks very, very similar to the game, uh, the previous game, which is okay because that worked very well. They said when they jumped on the horses uh, and the bullets flew by their heads, uh, it knocked off his hat. Rockstar claims that it wasn't a set scene and something that could happen in everyday gameplay. If you lose your hat, you won't magically get it back in the next scene either. So if you want your hat, you have to actually go back and pick it up with the bullets flying around you. That's amazing. Like, that's, I don't know why, but that was like the part that really got to me. Uh, They go on to state that they do a little shooting on horses, and when he shot someone off the horse, his leg got caught up in the ropes. Uh, Just like last year, or last year's, yep. Red Dead was made last year, (laughs) but just like the last game. And the last note is that Rockstar promises that multiplayer will return and create a brand new open world experience. So there we go. There is uh, the IGN first look at Red Dead Redemption. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Is there anything you want to add? Is there anything you would like to see in Red Dead Redemption? Let me know all that in the comments below. And as always, you could be a pal and subscribe. Yeah.